Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I want something to, uh... Okay, this video is uh, for you, Mike. Uh, Mike Deshuda. I got something I found out on Canva that was really, really cool that I've been trying to figure out for years. So, let's get started with just the basic... Um, let's just get started with some of the basic stuff. Uh, let's see, we go back to... Uh, the Movement King 2.0 um, frame that I got you there with the live and the Movement King and all the good stuff. So I've been trying to figure out one thing for a long time. I'm going to go back to start here. Let's see, is it recording? Yeah, yeah, we're recording. So, check this out, right? This is my rough draft for my Ashika Island um, thumbnail that I'm designing right now before we go live. Um... This is just the background. It came with the Ashika Island. It came with that Call of Duty Warzone 2. Uh, I put my um, I put my icon in there, and then this in there, and I'll show you how to do this as well. So, what was bothering me was this Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. It was um, what that's called is transparency. It's partially transparent. So when you click on, let's say this, you can click on this uh, little transparency button right here and you can make it appear like it's fading into the background right like that war zone is I didn't want that I don't want that I want I want this war zone 2.0 to match this Ashika Island to like I wanted it to be nice and uh, out so before I reveal the final draft or the next picture I did that fixed a lot of issues Let's copy this. You can also duplicate page by doing that. This is all stuff for Canva. So first, what I did was, let's show you how I did this. I got this image here, right? We go to my uploads, and we go to this bad boy right here. That's the actual image. And I was like, oh man, how do I make it look cooler? Because before, it was this image here. And then we scroll down this. It was the mature M-rated sign. Wanted to cover that up, right? How do I cover that up? I put a picture there. I scroll this picture down. Boom. No more no more M rated no more M rated logo. Yay, we covered up the logo, right? No problem. All right. Well, it looks a little it looks a little grayish, right? Not looking so great. So, we click on the image. We go to edit image. We select that contrast. Boom. Oh god. We bump that up a little bit. What was the let me get the numbers for this? Okay, zero contrast, saturation. Saturation is what we bumped. That is what we bumped. Let's bump saturation. We click on image, edit image, saturation goes up. And then we can bring this contrast back down. Looking great, right? Looking real great. But it's still a square. It's still a, like, it's like sharp and edgy and n lines in nature aren't like that. So what do we do? We want to put it in a frame, right? Well, if you put it in a frame... Let me go over to frames here quick. Uh, frame. Uh, it's just going to look like something like... Uh, it was just looking something like... Let me get an actual frame here. Yeah, it was just looking something like that. Well, not like that. But you get the idea. It puts it in a picture frame like you would for a picture. Let's go back. What I found out is that you can make it, if you use the right type of frame, you'll notice that it's these blank ones, the ones that have a, an image of like a cloud and grass. That means that your image takes priority in this frame, meaning it's doing what? It's shaping the image. So, let's set this here, and then put our image on top of it. Check, what, check out what it does. Look at that. It's shaping the image to fit the frame instead of just putting like a... A picture frame around it. A picture frame would be something like these bad boys. And it's it's it can't even do it right. I don't even know why it can't do it right. See it just blanks everything out. But yeah, that is for the frames. Let's see, I don't want to go too fast here. Uh rectangular frame and then basically we want to go back to our frames. There we go. So all of these can be used to shape the image you're looking at. We can put it like, let's see, we can put it like that, make it look like it's in a self, uh, in a phone, and then we go back. We can put it like 
this, make it look like it's something off of Final Fantasy. Look at that. Real nice there. Now, I'm, <laughs> I'm messing things up, but you get the idea. You can make it look, you can even, oh, that's a new one. Hey, I'm learning while we're recording. You can even make it look like it's in a CD. So let's say you wanted to make it look like it's going on a video game. Like it is a video game. I want to see what that looks like. I've never seen this before. Let's delete all this other crud. Oh my goodness. It's a freaking CD case now. What? PlayStation 2 advertisement. Who uses CDs anymore? Nobody. That's who. Bam. And then we delete the frame. Now we've got our original over here, which I'm really impressed by. What we did for that was well, we come over to my uploads. We get this bad boy right here. We increase the saturation like we did before. And then we come over to our frames. And I wanted to make it look like a painting or a watercolor. So I selected this bad boy. And of course it's going to go in behind it. Then you got to move your image in front of it. And Canva picks up where it's like, oh, you wanted to do that. And look at that. Now it's like a watercolor. It can cover up that icon and be sitting there in the corner and still look like it's natural, like it belongs there. And that is amazing. And I've been having issues with trying to figure out how to use elements like that to cover up little icons that I don't want in the image, but still maintain an image that looks natural, that looks blended. That's the word I'm looking for, blended right here. This looks blended. It's not that, it's not that jaggedy, edgy square. Looks wonderful, right? So, what do we do if we want this Ashika Island, right? We go over to our text. We add a text. Now you can select different texts here. As you can see, none of them work out really nicely. They don't, they don't pop like that Ashika Island right there. They don't look real great. But if I pick the right font and then I enlarge that, and I'm still working with this, I haven't finished it yet, but I found out something that I really wanted to make a video on. Let's take this whole text, type Ashika Island, now I'm not sure if they did all caps or, did they do all caps? Yeah, they did all caps, my bad. Caps lock. All right, now we've got our Ashika Island, right? Boom. Now, that's not the exact text that they're using in the image. Whoa, 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 okay. Now, that's not the exact text that they're using in the image, but you can tell it's looking pretty good. Did I type it twice by accident? Ashika Island Island. What is going on? Okay, there we go. Now, let's take this whole text, make it pure white, bam. All right, now, we're looking pretty good, right? We got, we got like a nice shape going on there. My shape is very similar to their shape. It's looking pretty interesting. But something I've been having an issue with for years is that texture. Look at how it looks weathered, like it's got dirt scratches, dings, dents, it's textured. Now, there's a apparently there's a way to do that that I just figured out. And uh, this is probably a silly video for those of you who already know how to do it so easily, but sometimes I figure out how to do stuff that seems simple enough and it just it it flabbergasts me. Like I'm amazed. Anyway, you want to put that texture on there, right? And you think to yourself, "Well, how can I do that?" Uh, like if you go over here to effects, you'll see you got hollow, splice, outline, you got your shapes, backgrounds, all that good stuff. Oh, you could even, oh, bruh, you could make it a Sheikah Island and then curve that image into a CD and have the CD fit inside that. But let's get back to our, um, let's get back to our, uh, shape none. Let's get back to our texture. So how do we, how do you add text in, how do you add texture to text? I just figured it out and it's really freaking cool. And I'm, they've been doing it for apparently ages. Watch this bad boy. So we want to go over here to our graphics. 
and then all I did was I typed dirt. And you'll see it gives us different things of dirt. You know, you can pretty much put a Minecraft block on it if you want. But what I noticed is some of these are transparent and they have that means they have no background. Like they're not a big flat image. Check out what happens when I do something like uh let's pick let's pick this one. Now, we're going to size it down and it looks like we need to put it in the front. So we're going to select its position. Let's see. Oh boy. Position. There we go. Forward. We want this on the top layer. This is how you select which layer your image is going to be on. So you've got your forward and backwards. Goodness gracious. All right, we've got our Sheikah Island over here. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. So look at this. Hmm, let's see if I can... Interesting. There we go, there we go. That's doing something. Look at that. We're starting to get some texture on this bad boy. Now, that doesn't look like much. Maybe if I use a different one. Let me try a different one real quick. But the idea is basically, it looks rough on the, around the edges for now, but when I zoom out, you're going to see a really interesting thing. Really interesting effect here. Hmm, too framey. Too, too framey. Too square. Let's try... Let's try something like this. Oh, position again. Let's rotate it. And get the position right. Put it on the top layer so it goes over our text. Zoom it out. Interesting. Uh, I'm not such a fan. But we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I think the issue is you would have to do something like that a bunch of times, like layer it. Let's pick a small one. Something like this. And then make it smaller. Zoom in. I want it to be over my text. I don't know if you'd have to do individual letters or what, but... I don't know. What I wanted to show you is basically what I discovered the first time I did this. And maybe I just can't recreate it, but I, if it's not, it, it's not science if you can't recreate it, but check something like this out. See the AD? The AD and add? I was like, oh man, I figured out how to put texture on text without having to hand draw it. That looks weathered, but it's just this frame over the lettering. I wonder exactly what I did that made it not appear so square. Because when I zoom out, it looks a lot better. But, at least I was able to show you that painted frame. And I'm still working on this image. And I think it's going to be really nice. I actually, I think I got the idea from you. Because uh, I like how um, one of your Movement King 2.0 thumbnails, the last one, I noticed that the difference between your... Um, your starting thumbnail in episode 2, like episode 1 to episode 2, you had some sort of frame. Uh, it was like a weathered frame effect around the edges of your image, and I really thought that was cool. As a matter of fact, I wonder... Let me just check something real quick. Sorry, I'm moving this around so much. If I do this, and then allow it to cover the entire image, what happens then? Uh, ooh. Whoa, that adds like... Hold up. Can I get the blank real quick? I got an idea. Let's get rid of all this. And then bring this bad boy over here. Yeah. Because that's my Ashika Island. That's their Ashika Island. I didn't make that. But I want, a, you know, to make a... I wanted a blank image because I can't get rid of this unless I cover it up with something gaudy. Which I've already done that here. 
So we've got our Ashika Island. We zoom that bad boy in. And obviously you could pick a different text. One that might match up better. I came up as close as I could to this. And you can even pick one that looks more, uh, looks more themed. Let's say themed. Fits the theme better. You can even pick one that fits the theme better. We zoom this in. And what does that look like? Jesus. I wonder if I just wanted to do the text. Wow. But uh, let's try let's try a different. It's so it's so thick toward the bottom there. I want to try something that is uniform. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, this is uniform. It's the same all the way around. Ooh, that's interesting. That looks gritty. Like there's an explosion that just went off. But see, I'm just basically showing the concept of it. And I've got an idea as well. Uh, here's something. What, let's say I don't want it on our nice little image here. Let's zoom this down. Move it over here. Grab, grab this bad boy. And bring it all the way to the front. So that no matter what we put here, nothing will be on top of it. So we go forward, 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 and we just keep clicking that until it's the very top layer. And then we get this bad boy, and we drag it over again. Let's do it. Do it up again. For the one, one more for the one time. For the one time. That's interesting. It's difficult to drag over the entire image. No, that does it. Okay, so let's select it, and we're probably going to want to put it down one more, one more layer. So back, boom. Now you'll notice, watch this, forward. Oh no, dirt on our nice little image here. Backward. And that is what's called layering. I'm liking the way this is starting to look. How do you think? Real nice, huh? So I'm getting the weathering effect on the text there. I've got my nice little painted watercolor frame instead of a basic square. And I've got my image. And now I have a nice blank image without that Warzone 2.0. And as I explained earlier, that is not only did they put it there, so I can't remove it. I'd have to cover over it. But it's also um, it's transparent. So I like the way it blends. But if it doesn't match this, I don't like non-matching text. So we take something like this, and I'm going to keep working with this image and see if I can find a, a text, like a style that I like more for the actual text of Sheikah Island, and find a, find a dirt filter I like more, something, in, something less intense. But the, as you can see, there's lots of options, loads of options. Very interesting. Let's try. Oh man, that was going to be hard to see. I think that's the same one. I keep gravitating towards it because it looks great when it's small. What if I just wanted it on the text, though? I'm trying to make it so that I can... Ooh, interesting. Okay, we're getting something. Oh, we're getting something here. What if I wanted... What if I wanted it over the text and not this in between here? Is that something to do with layering? Let's put our let's put our actual image. That would be this guy. Can I where's my where's my positioning on this? Am I not selecting my background image? There we go. Why can't I select the Huh. Interesting. I should be... Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Cancel. Got an image. Huh. Interesting. I guess it's default to the background layer. Okay. So then, what if I wanted to... Hmm. I got an idea. Hmm. Interesting. 
So let's see. What's this? All oh, right, Ashik Island. So image dirt. Hmm. We're working. We're working with something. But you see, you see what you see how it's getting. You see how it's getting. Let's keep. I got an idea. Let's group them. So we bring this over so that it covers the entire text. And then we can group, oh, that's duplicate, whoopsie. Uh, back one. Okay. Then we can group this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Link. Hmm. No, you select both at once, that's right. Drag over, select both, group. Now, when I want to make it rotate, the whole text rotates and the, um, and the filter. Let's zoom out a little bit, see what it looks like. Very interesting. We're getting something. I still like their text more than mine, but I'm still working with the um, still working with the uh, the selection and everything. But I'm so glad I figured out how to make texture on text. And of course, if you wanted to, like if you had a bit more time, you could individually add each of these little dirt blots to your letters one at a time. So let's say you wanted to zoom in real, real zoom, real thick, right? And you wanted to like pay attention to each letter. You could put that effect. Wait a minute. Oh, I just figured out something else. Okay. Check this, right? A little bit, a little bit too harsh, right? A little bit too, a little bit too dark. Why didn't I think to change the transparency of this? Oh, of this. Let's make it a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah, now we're getting, look, way too harsh, way too harsh. Blending, transparency. So sometimes transparency good to use. Look at that. If I do it just right, my texture looks almost exactly the same as their texture. By golly, I tell you, if I get, man, I can almost not tell the difference. If I zoom this out and did it just right and really paid attention to what I was doing, I bet you I could make the exact same texture as they did for theirs. Now that looks pretty harsh, right? Because it's covering the whole image. But if you zoom that out, let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, that looking good. That looking real good. That looks amazing over the text. The only thing I would change is that it's over the image here. If I can find one that I can... I wish I could drag it by the side. So I think what you would have to do for that is you'd have to make two of them and make them work side by side. So let's get another one. Let's just duplicate it. So this is our second one, right? We want this only over the text. Let's zoom in. I'm getting something here. I'm getting something. Now, you can only see them based on the purple frame around them. See when I select them? We just don't want it over our background. So let's get it here. And we want to make it so that... We want to make it so that they're half and half. So that they work together. We want to sync them up. At least that's what I want to do. And it's okay if they overlap just a little bit. As long as they're not over our background. So they're overlapping. This one comes up just a wee bit. Just a little bit bigger. That one's there. This one's here. They're going to have to overlap. Okay. Oh, we're getting something. Oh my goodness. I think I've done it. Now, when you scroll over them, it's like, oh, purple. Oh. But when you zoom out, check that bad boy out. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I want to see. Hang on. Select. Share. Let's do download. We're going to select best for sharing. We're just going to do page three. I want to see what it looks like in its final form. Yes, I know I need to select pages. Page three, current page, download. Uh, oh, right, right. Um, no. I will download a free watermarked draft because... 
The watermarks are so small you can't even see them. Okay, I want to open this image. Let's see what it looks like in its final form. Full screen. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, full screen. Woo! Yeah, my boy. Oh, what? Bro, check this shit out, man. Oh, oh, I missed one over my, like, I missed one over my, I didn't even realize that was still there. But if I got rid of that dirt over my icon, that would be amazing. I'm still working with this. I'm, get, I'm getting better with image texting, and it's, it's dangerous. I mean, I know it doesn't look like much, but think about the blank that we started with. Uh, no, I don't want to delete. Think about the blank that we started with. Let's start with a blank, just to show you the difference between the here and now. So, uh, not including this, uh, this one, let's just add page, go uploads, uh, let's get rid of, uh, let's not get rid of anything just yet. But look at, look at this, um, actually, yeah, I guess I can get rid of it. I can start out different. All right. Uh, wait, hang on. Delete this page. That's not gonna, oh boy. How do I, oh boy. There we go. I want to get it nice and close. Um, okay, so is that the one I did? No, it's this one. So, let's, we gotta select the right image. That's not the right image. That was our, that was our blank without the Ashika Island and the text and everything. So let's take a look between, oh boy. I'm gonna have to edit this. Back one. We want to show this one. New page. Okay, there it is, finally. Okay, let's take a look at the before and after. Look at this. Before? Oh, actually, can I? Yes. Oh, and also that's how you can arrange the... You can do the arrangement of your pages. You can move them up or down in the lineup. So, we've got... Okay, I think I need to delete this one. Because that's getting confusing. There's yours. Here's mine. Ah, oh, dang. Let's go back one. Hold up. I messed up. Yeah, that's the one I edited. This is the one that's really good, but it also has... There we go. Dirt over my icon. I only want dirt over the text. We delete this one. There we go. Finally. Uh, we just need to move this up. Okay, yours. Before. Blank image. After. Mine. Check that shit out. And all we did was we added a little bit of texture to the text with those dirt clods, with like dirt frames. Uh, we added this nice little image here, uh, increased the contrast on it, increased the contrast to the background here, added a paint, uh, watercolor frame to this image here, added my icon, and I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving it. The only thing I wish I could get rid of is this Call of Duty Warzone 2 with the transparency there, but um, I could do that by selecting this as my blank image and then copy pasting all of those um, copy pasting all of those uh, different things so du du page and then replace that image with this see how that that looks nice there but we'd also need new text so we would need new Ashika Island text and one thing I'm noticing is because of Something about the sky, this one's blue, this one's more overcast. The overcast of the clouds is making the image appear more pink purplish. This one is definitely a sharp blue because of the sky. And you'll notice um, it doesn't fit as nicely here as it does there, this little watercolor here. But yeah, that's, that's just designing in Canva. How long have I been going? God, 30 minutes. All right, I got to cut this short. Uh, that's like... Um, just basics on Canva. Oh boy. Alright. I'll see you all in the next one.
Bye-bye.